नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यास ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैता मृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीते भवद्वेशिनी ओ भगवदीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन The ancient sage Vyasa included it in the Mahabharata. O goddess, shower of the nectar-like knowledge of non-dualism contained in your 18 chapters. O my affectionate mother, the destroyer of rebirth, I meditate upon thee. Krishna Vandana. वसुदेवसुत कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुर son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita the vishwarupa darshan yoga 11th adhyay of the bhagavad gita and uh, arjuna is uh, a, a bit confused having seen that terrible form of krishna devouring the all the army no armies from both the sides all the great warriors all the kings hordes of kings and even pitama bhishma drona and karna and not only that even all the worlds having devoured all the worlds having consumed all the worlds now Arjuna had seen the Lord happily licking his lips, and this entire creation, whatever is left out, left over, having consumed everything by the Lord, that everything is burning as if with the radiant rays they are emitting from that wonderful Vishwarupa, the universal form of the Lord. and arjuna is so wonderstruck so uh, terror struck for that matter arjuna says i know not what is happening what is the purpose of you are doing all this thing oh great lord hmm? please tell me have mercy on me and then arjuna even bowed down to the that uh, great uh, cosmic form of the lord having bowed down now arjuna says that please let me know what is happening why you are doing this why this destructive why this fearful form that you have taken up your earlier form was so beautiful hmm? i could see all the gods and goddesses all the celestial beings the gandharvas the yakshas making merry in that universal body that was so nice to see but this you are just devouring everything and not only that hmm? you are licking your lips after devouring the whole creation what is the purpose behind it i wish to know now i wish to know oh grand primal original purusha hmm? i want to know i don't know the purpose so arjuna says akhya hi me ko bhavanugra roopo akhya hi me tell me please tell me kaha bhavan ugra roopah why this terrible form the earlier form was so sweet to look at the earlier form was so lovable so loving form it was but why now this bhavan ugra roopah why you have taken this terrible form namostu te deva var prasid have mercy on me o supreme lord i am bowing down before you i am unable to understand anything now this terrible destructive phase of yours please have mercy on me and tell me vidnyatum ichami bhavanta madhyam i want to know the desire has cropped up in mind to know the reason behind this o oh, adi hmm? o oh, adi purusha o oh, the primal one from whom comes this entire creation and who divorces this entire creation at the end nahi prajanami 
tava pravrutim i fail to understand what is your purpose behind doing all this now with this question of uh, arjuna that uh, he wants to know further he wants to know why this terrible form was the loving form not sufficient enough for the lord to maintain to enlighten that devotion in the hearts of the devotees why this destruction why this killing why this annihilation hmm? this is a terrible form then shri krishna now is going to address shri krishna is now going to answer that question of arjuna also because he can't leave his uh, uh, beloved pupil's uh, doubt uncleared so the blessed lord said shri bhagwan uvacha now this is our today's reading of the 32nd shloka shri bhagwan uvacha kalo asmi loka kshaya krut pravruddho lokan samahartu mih pravrutta rute pitvam na bhavishyanti sarve ye vasthita pratyanikeshu yodha now shri krishna says you only knew that side of mine is it now you know that good side of me that lovable side of me that compassionate side of me you knew hmm? now you have also seen the terrible side and this uh, inquisitiveness has cropped up in your mind this uh, desire for knowing why this fiery fears form that i have taken up hmm? so no for sure kalosmi lokakshayakrat pravruddho pravruddho is mighty i am that mighty time itself kal i am that mighty time i am that mighty time who is engaged in lokakshaya krat to destroy this creation hmm? i am that mighty time i am that world destroying time i am that creation destroying time know me for sure i am that mighty creation destroying time the world destroying time the universe destroying time hmm? kalha asmi loka kshaya krut pravruddha lokan samahartum ih pravruttaha i am engaged being the devouring time being being the world devouring time i am engaged in this act of wiping out the entire world that is my duty so far you only know my lovable nature my care taking nature my nature of nourishing my creation but now know for sure i am that mahakal hmm? i am that destroying time which wipes out everything and right now that what you have seen i am in that wiping out phase wiping out the entire creation that's what you have seen actually you have seen with the divine eyesight that i have given you you have seen me engaged in because i am the kala i am the world destroying kala i am not just krishna i am not just your friend i am not just that loving and caring and compassionate and merciful and graceful god but i am also the world destroying time then rutaipi tvam na bhavishyanti sarve rute without this even without you rute rute api tvam na bhavishyanti even if you are not there in future hmm? even you of here are not there to kill these warriors hmm? ye avasthitah all these all these warriors who are arrayed here who are standing here who have come up to this kurukshetra battlefield to wage the war even if you were not there hmm? pratyanikeshu yodhah all these yodha all these warriors Hmm? in the pratyanikeshu in the hostile armies on the both the sides they are going to be wiped out so this is a beautiful answer shri krishna has given him that you have no have no doubts in your mind who am i who are you hmm? what is the purpose i am 
all devouring Kala, Krishna says. It is my duty to wipe out and right now I am in this, uh, I am engaged right now in wiping out everything, <coughs> whether you are there or not. All these warriors who are arrayed in both the sides, hmm, who are standing there eager to fight each other, they are going to be devoured by me. They have already been devoured by me. So you don't worry about it. It is the very nature of me to wipe out everything, to wipe out my own creation. Not only, not only the, the, the people that you are seeing here are being wiped out. The entire creation is dying because after all I am world destroying time. Every moment of the time that goes back, it is devouring the past. It is devouring something and that thing is getting merged. That those turbulent river waters are getting merged in the ocean. Those moths are getting burnt in that, those flames. And that is the real nature of the Lord. That is the all devouring time. And Krishna says, have, have, have no uh, uh, doubt in your mind on that. Have no confusion over it. I, that is my real nature. I am also, apart from being your friend Krishna, apart, apart from being that uh, gracious and uh, merciful God, I am also the world devouring time. The Blessed Lord said, I am the mighty world destroying time now engaged in wiping the world. Even without you, the warriors arrayed in hostile armies shall not leave. You don't think that if you don't fight the battle, they are going to leave happily and nothing, uh, you know, everything is going to be goody-goody, uh, everything is going to be super fine. Nothing of that sort. Ultimately, I have to take care of all these things. I have to wipe them out, whether you do it or not. They are already in me. So you don't worry on that count. And Sri Krishna has answered this particular uh, question of Arjuna that I don't know the purpose. This is purpose. You want to know the purpose? I am all devouring. The moment a, 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 a moment of a time passes, whatever was there in that earlier moment of time, everything gets wiped out. What I was there a moment back, I am not now. That was then. What I am now, I may not be there in the next time frame, in the next moment of time. So the time, time is consuming everything, time is devouring everything and time as it is wiping out everything that is in that moment. Everything becomes history in no time. We are all here engaged to enjoy the life. We are all here engaged to bring out the, the to, 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 to uh, uh, have the best of everything. But best of everything doesn't last at all. Each moment is just making that best of everything wiped out. And that's what Sri Krishna says. That is my real nature. That is my purpose. That is my duty. I have to do that. So in spite of lifelong companionship with Sri Krishna, what Arjuna has come to know of him is very little. Hmm? All through the life, Arjuna thought of oh, Krishna is my best. He is my best chum. He is my best buddy. But now he has seen a totally different form of the Lord. And now when Krishna says that I am that Mahakala, Hmm? That I am that world destroying time. All the doubts, all the confusions in the mind of Arjuna, they have gone. Now he has really understood who his friend is. It is just not that physical form of Krishna. The universal form is much more than that. And that universal form is none other than the creation devouring, creation destroying time, mighty time, with every movement on, with every movement forward, as the clock ticks, 
with the needle moving a centimeter, a millimeter, a fraction forward, the past becomes history and gone. We cannot bring it back. We cannot go back there and enjoy it again or suffer again. Whatever is gone is gone. Forever. And therefore he says, I am all devouring time. Once I start devouring everything, that's it. Nothing, nothing remains, uh, nothing stands in front of time. Time is the ultimate, uh, the, the destroyer. The Mahakal is the ultimate destroyer. All events in nature get buried in time. Relentlessly and constantly it is consuming everything. Every moment is consuming the past moment. It is time eating the time. No time remains same. Again, it is time that measures all events. As Akasha contains all manifested thing in itself, time contains all events and causation in itself. Time, if you, if you think of time from Adi to Anta, and therefore, like uh, the universal form, Arjuna could not find the beginning of the form, where the form originates and where form ends. Same is the truth with time. Nobody knows which was the origin of the time. From where the time started, nobody knows. And when the time is going to end, nobody knows. It is beyond measurement of the origin and the end. And whatever happens, like whatever happens in this creation is happening within the ambit of this space. Space covers everything. Space covers this room, space covers this house, space covers this apartment complex, space covers this locality, this space covers this town, this district, this state, this country, this entire earth and beyond even that. So like space comprises everything, time comprises everything. Whatever has happened earlier, that is also there recorded in the time scale, although it is a history now. Although it is a gone case now, we cannot see it, but it is there in the time. Time also knows what is going to be there in the future because time has foresight. Time knows what was past, time knows what is present and time will know what is there lying in the future. We don't know. That is the only uh, sadness for us, but that is the ultimate reality. Likewise, every moment of time, as it divorces the past moment, it is kept hidden in the locker, in the treasure house of the time scale. So many millions and millions of years go by. Whatever has happened is still there in the time frame. Whatever is going to happen, that also will be there on the time scale. But we just know the present. As one ascends a hill, one sees the ups and downs below merging into the vast, ex vast expanse. Similarly, in the infinitude of time, all the happenings in the universe get swallowed. When we are climbing a hill, when we are climbing a mountain, when we go on trekking, when actually we are climbing those uh, you know, precarious paths, we don't realize. But when we reach there on top and then we, we look down, then we feel, oh my God, I have climbed up so much of a distance. We don't realize when we are doing it at that point of time, the ups and downs that we have traveled, that the ups and downs that we have trekked, we don't realize at that point of time. But having reached the top, then we see, oh, I came up, then I again went down, then again I came up and now I am here. So likewise, all happenings, they go in time. Time divorces everything. It is like that a path that we have traversed, that we have trekked. And then after going on top, then we see the down below. Oh, that was the path. And then we start remembering our past. Oh, I did like this. Oh, I did like this. Oh, I did like this. I should not have done like this. But it's of no use. Whatever has happened, has happened. No one can bring it back. No one can correct it. 
no one can undo it whatever has happened it time has devoured that moment once for all hmm? i know not your purpose is the frightened inquiry made by arjuna arjuna has told uh, krishna that i i i, I don't know i no no prajanami tama pravrittim so arjuna has uh, krishna has answered now you don't know my purpose this is the purpose purpose of my doing this is right now i am engaged in the act of eliminating the whole thing wiping out the whole creation because i am mahakala the lord deals with that mystery also in this uh, answer he says that he is intent on wiping out the world that is the purpose as a mahakala as all devouring time as creation as the world destroying time the mahakala is intent on wiping out each and everything and making everything as a history every moment becomes a history death in fact is taking place ceaselessly constantly we are dying every moment we are dying but we don't realize we 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 uh, uh, hope uh, to be immortals hmm? we hope we are never going to die but then every moment every moment we are passing yes that is taking bringing taking us so near every moment is bringing us closer to death and uh, i i i remember my uh, guru ma's uh, words on this that in fact our journey towards death starts with our birth the moment we born we are born hmm? my guru ma used to say what is uh, the, the the life that we lead as we take birth we take one step and our next step is towards death now between the first step that we have taken birth and the next step that we are going to die whatever the distance in between that is our life and we don't understand the this reality that we are the death is so close to us but we all of us we feel we are never going to die and then this is what results in our inflating our egos i am so and so i am so and so i am this i am that so that is what happens ultimately death is constantly near us death is taking place ceaselessly when it is scattered and spread out it is called law of nature but when it is concentrated it is called catastrophe like what happened in pandemic so many people unnecessarily hmm? so many people just they died and then we realized oh my god this also can happen and then we started taking precautions then we started using masks then we started using sanitizers and all those things so the lord has this work of extermination in both ways severely and collectively extensively and intensively and therefore lord has created this scenario of mahabharata that all these warriors they will be taken away they will be eliminated the mahabharata war is an instance of this intensive destruction of mankind whenever a need for it arises he does it very effectively whether arjuna wants to uh, participate in this war or not whether he wants to throw away his uh, gandiva and just slump in the floorboard of the chariot saying i am not going to fight lord is not bothered at all lord says i am going to do my work whether you take up your bow arrow in your hand and start fighting or not i am already i am i am i am already doing my duty now it is up to you hmm? he truly had whenever a need for it arises he does it the lord does it very effectively he truly adores god who sees his hand at work in all destructions small and great now this is the teaching shri krishna is going to uh, he is rather giving it to arjuna that you don't have to worry about the destruction about what is going to happen after war i am taking care of it already i am that kala i am that mahakala devouring everything destroying everything you don't have to worry about it and therefore now arjuna is getting an insight now arjuna is given to understand that all these bhishma drona karna all these kings 
hmm? their death is inevitable because Arjuna has already seen them entering the mouth of the Lord. Arjuna has already seen all the kings and warriors entering the mouth of the Lord. Arjuna has already seen these, all these worlds entering the mouth of the Lord. And nobody is forcing them. Remember that. Nobody is pushing them. Nobody is threatening them. You go. They are going of their own accord happily and in great hurry they are going. So that is the Lord's ways of getting the things done. So that was uh, uh, Shri Krishna's simple answer to Arjuna as you want to know who I am, why this fierce uh, uh, form that I have taken, because I am time. I am that world devouring time, I am that world destroying time and I have to do it. That is my nature, everything gets drawn up in time and becomes a history, becomes the past. So that is uh, Krishna's uh, answer to Arjuna very briefly and very effectively. And then Krishna will further tell Arjuna about this whole game that he are playing, the play that he is playing. Till then, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Mahatma Jai Swamiji.